Hey everyone, are you thinking about moving to Palm Coast, Florida? Well, if you are, we're going to talk about where to live in Palm Coast, Florida in this video. And it really depends upon your lifestyle. You know, some people are coming here and they have kids and families and they're maybe getting a starter home. Some people are retiring and they're moving and selling their home in another area of the country and moving down and they have a whole different lifestyle. So golfing, surfing, tennis, pickleball, all those things, biking and walking, we have it all here, but we're gonna cover that. We're gonna go from the top on the north side of Palm Coast and we're gonna move all the way down to the south end and we're gonna try to cover as much of those areas as possible and tell you everything you need to know about where to live in Palm Coast in just a few seconds. So stick with us. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Living in Palm Coast channel. I'm Bill Bishop. I'm a realtor here in Palm Coast, Florida. And if you would like to learn uh, what it's like to live here, work, play, please give us a call at uh, the number on your screen or check out the description box for any kind of email uh, and our, all of our contact information is available in there as well. So what I wanted to do is get into real quickly uh, the number one question or one of the number one questions we get from um, uh, customers and clients that are calling us from all over the country about what it's like to live here in Palm Coast. Uh, but what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you to, I'm going to start in the northern part of uh, Palm Coast and I'm going to work my way down. I'm going to show you exactly the areas and the kind of the home prices in those particular areas we're going to cover. Grand Haven, we're going to cover all the alphabet sections, conservatory, we're going to go and cover the the uh, coastal properties and what uh, you know what the prices are out there to kind of give uh, the new viewers to this channel a little bit of an overview of the area where Palm Coast is located in conjunction with say Jacksonville, St. Augustine, then the area. We're in the northeast corner, or not say the northeast region of Palm, uh, Florida and uh, we're about an hour or so away from Jacksonville. You know, we have, uh, we don't have a ton of shopping. We're not going to be like a, a Naples or a, you know, any kind of uh, super retail area. So uh, if you want to have and go shopping for say, uh, you know, the high end types of stores and things, you really either need to go to Jacksonville uh, or you can go to uh, Orlando, of course. So here are the stores that are available at the St. John's Town Center, which is just 50 miles away from Palm Coast. And as you can see, they have the Apple Store, all of the Banana Republic, and it goes on and on. They have lots of places to eat. So this is a real easy day trip to go up and shop your little heart off. And that is uh, closer, really, than the Mall Millennia which is down in Orlando, which is more like about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes by the time you get done parking. This is uh, you know, if you want to get to, the, let's say, the Mall of Millennia, which is the super nice high-end mall down in Orlando, you can um, just head down, you know, I-4 and go down, and, and you can be within, uh, you know, it's basically a day trip. It's only a 25 or 30-minute drive to uh, St. Augustine. Um, same goes for Daytona. Daytona is going to cater more towards that tourist uh, population and uh, that's good for us. I like the fact that Palm Coast is uh, smaller, it's less touristy, and we kind of have all the beaches to ourselves. You know, we have 19 miles of beautiful beaches here in Flagler County and Palm Coast is the biggest city in Flagler County. So, uh, you know, we have access and the access points to all of our beaches, they're just you can't there's you don't even have an excuse for not being able to get to the beach even on the really busy holiday weekends and things like that so um, anyway that uh, that is kind of the overall regional aspect of uh, living here in Palm Coast all right so I'm gonna start on the north end of Palm Coast and we're gonna talk a little bit about 
those areas and then I'm going to move my way down to the south end. I'm going to talk about uh, the properties and the gated developments in the south side of uh, Palm Coast. But first we're going to look at a really cool community that I think is um, on the luxury side is going to be uh, really in high demand coming up. I just talked to one of the major builders in this development. It's called the Conservatory. It was actually looks like it's a brand new community, but it isn't. It was built in 2008 and 9, or 2007. Of course, the housing crisis in 2008 and 9 took a big hit on that particular development. There's 340 home sites, but you can get into that community uh, for very little in association dues, and you can get a, a golf course, a golf course view, a golf course proper uh, lot for around seventy-five or eighty thousand. Uh, it is a hell of an opportunity right now, and uh, I'm showing a lot of our buyers on the luxury side of things because once you get in there, you're going to have to build a uh, you know four to five hundred thousand dollar home just because of the construction. Um, standards and things that they uh, require. They require that you have a 2,250 square foot home. Those types of things are going to come into play. So it's a little bit different than being able to just buy a lot in in town here uh, where there's no association, no homeowners association. Then you can just basically put up a, you know, a little house. Uh, there are a little bit more as far as requirements at the conservative. Okay, so this is the atrium of the conservatory, which is just beautiful. It's completely, almost completely enclosed in glass. And as you walk around to the left, there is the pro shop and then the uh, front door. So let's go up to the other area of uh, that northern area, which is the L section. Now, the interesting thing about our uh, our founding fathers here in Palm Coast and uh, is that they basically made divided up the city into sections and we have the R section, the L section, the P section and I'm going to show you all those in just a second but basically in in Palm Coast we have two kind of north-south roads and that's uh, you know, of course um, you know US 1 and then we've got I-95 that goes down uh, north and south and then of course A1A which is out towards the beach the historic A1A highway A1A that everybody loves to drive up and down the motorcyclers and things like that so those are our, our kind of north-south main thoroughfares uh, and then once you get in town you know we have uh, we have basically uh, some north-south thoroughfares Beltaire, Colbert or, or two north-south thoroughfares but it is divided into sections and these sections are um, are labeled based on the types or the names of the streets in that particular section so if you go to the L section all the streets in the L section are going to be named you know uh, are going to start with L same thing R, B, so on and so forth now the one thing about Palm Coast that you're uh, not going to get used to probably when you first move here is that it is like a maze getting around the city once you get into the neighborhoods because there are meandering streets all over uh, Palm Coast and uh, unless you have your GPS it's going to be a hard time finding out where you want to go. That being said I think that uh, that plan for the city way back when was pretty good because what it allows you to do is you don't have everything on a grid so it kind of allows uh, a more neighborly a neighborhood kind of feel where your your streets do kind of curve around and it feels a little less regimented I guess is the best word I can use for that so based on that you know we're gonna go in and we're gonna take a quick look at the sections now the sections uh, all come in different varieties. Uh, some are close to the, we have two, we have th actually three uh, kind of in-town golf courses that were built way back when and uh, there are homes that are around those golf courses. Cypress Knoll is one of them. Pine Lakes Golf Course is another as well as the Palm Harbor Golf Course. Now the homes around those areas are going to be a little bit higher in price. 
So the next section of town that I want to talk about is the canal section, of course, and that is the area of town that kind of everybody wants to live in right now. Uh, there are, uh, the most of the homes were built in the 80s, 90s there, so, uh, and there's a few lots available, but very few, but it is a lifestyle. It's a really cool lifestyle. It's the kind of lifestyle that I think I would like to have at some point in time in my life would be to have my boat right outside, be able to get you know, lower it down, get in the boat and go through the canal system and go out to the intercoastal and go fishing or boating or whatever you like to do out there. Um, that is a really cool lifestyle. A lot of people are looking at that. And then there's another community actually that is down south of us, which is called Marina del Palma. So I thought you might be interested in taking a look at a promo video from Marina del Palma, which is a really cool boating community in Palm Coast. And we'll take a look at it right now. This community is right on the Intracoastal Waterway and each homeowner will have an Eastlip in the HOA owned, state of the art boathouse. What is an Eastlip you ask? Well, let me tell you. When you're not using your boat, it's stored securely in a new, modern building. Inside, away from the scorching sun, the wind, the bugs, the rain, and everything else. But when you're ready to use it, you simply grab your phone, open the Eastlip app, and select the date and time you want it ready. Then, before you can get to the dock, the valet boat service will have it in the water, ready to go with ice, fuel, and all your provisions. When you come back, you simply toss your keys to the dock master and you're done. Your boat is cleaned and put away safely and all ready for your next adventure on the water. And if that wasn't enough, my husband loves that just across the street there's a 4,000 acre state-owned nature preserve. Now, but with your, these are, with your lot, you get a, um, you get a spot in the storage facility. So you basically call the marina up, you tell them to get your boat ready. They take it with the big forklifts, they take it down. They put it in the water, they gas it up for you, they put it ice in the cooler, and it's all ready for you to take out. When you bring it back, you just drop it off and they clean it up, put it back in storage, and you're good to go. There are two developments in the southern part of Palm Coast. One is uh, Plantation Bay, and the other is uh, Halifax Plantation. So though these two, one is a gated development, one really isn't. They're both situated around golf courses. They're both around that $500,000 level as far as prices. So those are two really neat established communities with the mature trees and the uh, community centers and the tennis and the restaurants and all that stuff. So if you have any interest in, in looking at those, just let us know and we can get you information about those as well. So. Those are two really popular communities here in Palm Coast that um, a lot of our clients are looking into. The next two communities that I want to talk about are Grand Haven and uh, Palm Coast Plantation. And these two communities, well, Palm, Co Palm Coast Plantation is a little newer, but Grand Haven is an older established community, beautiful streets. Uh, the uh, golf course is a private golf course. You don't, we're not required to uh, join, but it is a beautiful uh, golf course, uh, clubhouse. They have activities and things to do, and they're still building in Grand Haven. It's uh, there's some condos coming online and some other things, um, and uh, Palm Coast Plantation as well. When you're coming to a, a super hot market. This is a super hot market right now, folks. So builders are just looking to glomp onto any business they can because they know that the people are out there wanting to build homes. So take your time. Always have, I think, and I'm not trying to be partial, but if it were for me, and every builder is different. They all have their own different program. They all have the different types of how much you can customize and things like that. So the best thing I can say is, uh, just uh, make sure that you uh, get with us or someone to make sure that you're getting with the right builder. And then we're going to make our way across the bridge over to Flagler uh, Beach. And that is sort of our little beach entertainment area, I guess you could call it. 
here and uh, Flagler Beach is uh, their own town uh, but homes out there start around four or five hundred thousand but it is definitely a cool lifestyle you know you have your golf cart you can drive on the streets out there you can drive up to the restaurant get a bite to eat on a Friday night drive your cart back and uh, drive it up to the beach drive it down to the park uh, go fishing so it's uh, really kind of a cool way of living out there and that's Flagler Beach uh, so uh, again you know these are all areas that are in high demand it's obviously a seller's market so it's always good to be able to come in if you are coming in and you're looking and making an offer on a property to make sure that you have a good strong offer when you're coming in otherwise you're probably not going to get the house that you you really want or uh, you know and, and again uh, I'm finding that a lot of our buyers are coming in and they're 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 looking at some of these houses that um, need a little bit of work and they're maybe not afraid to put in a little bit of work on build a little sweat equity I'm finding out more people because they're not finding their ideal house and it's really hard to be honest it's gonna be really hard to find your ideal house your ideal house in this market so the idea is just to take your time uh, what we do is try to get you uh, locked into a particular area not locked in but at least looking in a particular area so that when that when a house does come available or that you're ready to put a good strong offer in so the next area I'd like to talk about is the area between uh, well there's there's a few homes and mostly beach homes in the area between Flagler Beach and as you get up towards the hammock hammock dunes is the ultra exclusive community here in Palm Coast it is a private club private membership uh, to uh, hammock dunes and it is a real club atmosphere um, so that's hammock dunes and then as you go up into the hammock then you get into uh, the uh, cinnamon beach in the resort area and that's all kind of one big property so and as we move farther up into hammock into the hammock we go up to we end up like up towards Matanzas Shores and that whole area and that's a beautiful area as well homes again are going to start in the 350 to 400 range again you're out towards the beach the general rule in Florida and basically here also in Palm Coast is that the closer to the beach you are the more expensive your homes are going to be well everyone that's kind of an overview of the Palm Coast area I hope that was helpful if you have any questions just give us a call give us a text give us an email send us a smoke signal carrier pigeon whatever it takes we've got your back here in Palm Coast so in the interim we hope to see you again soon and thanks for watching and take care until the next time hope you have a great day Oh, and by the way, if you're interested in more videos, there are two new videos right here to watch.